I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about really uh, very important topics. Uh, there's, I've never seen a single project in my life, a single SAP project in my life, without having to go and, 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 and write functional specification document, FSD, or without having to go through a lot of enhancements. Enhancements, even though today we're trying to avoid them, I know SAP, they have this strategy, fit to standards. That means you fit your solution to whatever is the standard or the best practice or whatever SAP think of it as the standard. So, but it's not reality. It's, it's not going to ever happen. Okay. In every project, you're going to have some enhancements to take care of. Except for like maybe public cloud, where you're forced to actually take the solution as it is. Other than that, you absolutely has to go and do some enhancements. That's why it's extremely critical for any SAP consultant to actually understand the SAP tables and the SAP architecture, understand the tables. Without understanding the tables and how SAP work from like behind the scene, behind those blue screens or Fiori screens or whatever screens you have, without having that full understanding, it's going to be almost impossible for you to write functional specification documents. So in our bootcamp videos or in the bootcamp, we've actually talked repeatedly what is the content of the functional specification documents. Just to kind of give you an overview how does this functional specification document is going to look like? What is the most common enhancements? What is like, how do you actually approach that enhancements? What is the RISIF is? Oh, the RISIF W. We've actually answered all these questions in our book. However, today or in this video, what I'm actually trying to share with you is how can you figure out the tables behind every transactions. It is very critical and it's very important topic. I've seen a lot of consultants. I've seen even just mid-level consultants within five, six, sometimes seven years of experience. They don't know how can they find the tables. For sure, we've talked about the four rules, okay, how to figure out tables in, this, in SAP by clicking F1. And we've talked about, if you didn't know what F1 is, just, we can just look at the basic videos that we've actually explained before. The F1 method and, and, and the Googling method, you Google it, and, um, and, and, and the hammer method. All these, this is very, very important information. However, sometimes you're gonna be left empty-handed where you still don't know like what is the tables behind the transaction. I'm going to share with you one of the most powerful underused tool in SAP, okay? Which is the tracing method, okay? I haven't shared it in, in the book cam, but I'll actually add it later on. But I'm, I'm just rushing this video because it's very critical. If you didn't know this method, you definitely definitely missing so much in the table so i'm gonna without any further ado i'm gonna show you now and sap gives you a tool where you can go ahead and figure out all the tables that has been impacted with a specific transaction so let me just go share my screen okay am i going to talk about the basic ways for example if you want to see the vendor you could just click f1 on the vendor and, and then you're going to figure out what is that function what is that what is that information in there Okay, am I going to actually show this? I'm, I'm assuming that you're really good with this right now. So I'm, I'm assuming now, let's say I want to do a transaction like FB60. Okay, there's something called trace methodology or the tracing functionality. Let me, you come into an empty screen and you go to ST05 and you click enter. Okay, then you have to activate the trace. And I want you to look into the trace status right here, this area right here. Now the trace is switched off. Number one, you activate the trace, okay? Make sure it's SQL trace, okay? And after you activate the trace, it's gonna tell you whatever is your user number that the trace is activated, okay? Then you go ahead and just go and, and to your transaction. Like, let's say I wanna trace every single thing in the FB60. So 
I'm going to just select whatever is the vendor and I'll, I'll put the information here, which is the, the, like the date and I'll put like the amount, um, whatever is the GL and put whatever is the amount. Now I'm going to click save when I, when I actually click save. Okay. I'm, I'm saving the transaction. And now let's say I want to figure out all the tables that have been impacted by this transaction. Every single table that has been impacted because I want to actually build my own enhancements or I want to build my own Rice FW based on that logic. Okay. So let's say, uh, okay, so I'll go back to the trace. So you go back to your trace, which is already activated. So now you need to deactivate the trace. After deactivating the trace, you have to display the trace. Okay, so, and here you can see, you click into the execute, and then, then you're gonna see all the tables that has been impacted. So here is the object name. So whenever you have a select, a select or a commit, these are table specific information. Like select means selecting from a table, update means updating a table, select means getting the information from a table, uh, insert meaning uh, like uh, adding information into a table, and update meaning updating information in the table. So technically here's the table, I highlighted in blue for you. The object name is the tables that has been impacted. So these are all the tables that have been impacted in my transaction, okay? so. Like I understand, this is a lot, a lot of tables that is, is actually happen, but not every single table, not every single entry here is an actual tables. Okay, if you're part of the bootcamp, you'll understand that we have three different type of tables. We have trans transparent table, we have fact table, and we have transactional tables. So, am I going to get into all that architecture, which is really it's not going to give you so much value right now, but I want you to understand these are the tables which actually gives you the head start where you can actually figure out what's actually happened. And if you see here, the details is, is actually here, the actual statement. When you, okay, when I say tables, this is a table in the database. There's four different transaction that it could happen on the table. You can either read the, the data into a table or you can write into a data into table or you can delete the data in a table or you can update the data in the table. So whenever you see select, that means you're trying to actually read specific data into the table, read the data in the table. So if you double click into one of those, you will get the details about what has actually happened which is not really meaningful for you right now, but just to keep this video short. So here is the table name that you actually need. And whatever you see in between the quotation, these are fields name. Like when you come here, for example, where P-R-O-G, this is a, a field name equals to whatever is the value. Double quotation is the field name. So this is just like a, a heads up for you this is very, very, very important. ST05 or the trace, uh, the SQL trace is very important. I use it all the time, especially when I'm not 100% sure which transaction, or what are the fields that I actually could use or what are the tables. Try to really keep that habit. So definitely you can Google the tables. This is the easiest way. I recommend you to do it, as we've mentioned in the in the bootcamp. And you click F1 and figuring out the, the technical information of the table or you click the hammer and the wrench and hammer. It's very, very common to use this. However, I, I want you to use or to add this tools into your arsenal, the ST05, which is the SQLs, SQL trace, okay? It could just really un reveal the entire enhancements for you or what are the tables and what are the fields that you could actually use. Anyways, thank you so much. I look forward to see you guys again later. And um, and if you're uh, if you are really at the end of your bootcamp and you're getting ready to, uh, to just to go to the market, I really wish you the best. But I recommend you just to really use the group and um, and, and just have the accountability partners to really practice your, your script and make sure you, you, you already have your business case that you, you've actually delivered multiple times. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.